What up guys, welcome to another video. Today we are doing a steering wheel install. I've never done an aftermarket steering wheel before, so I hope this goes smoothly. But I ordered one, I saw it at SEMA when I was there from NRG at their booth. And I don't know if you guys have seen my Speed 3 shifter, but it's floral. And I saw this at SEMA and I was like, I have to have it for the truck. And then I'll get a matching shifter for the truck as well. But when you take it apart, this is what it looks like. Uh, put this aside, open this up. And this is like your little center cap with your horn button. And you wire it to that. And then what's this? Oh, little Allen wrenches and bolts. Then come over here. We are doing it on the Mazda B 2200. It's a 93 if you're new here. And it is the SRK160H model. I think that works for RX7s and Speed 3s if I heard it right. Packaging's pretty sick, NRG. This is the hub so you can mount the steering wheel. So you have to have both of these. You can't buy just the wheel. So then this will mount like so. And then we put our steering wheel into each of these bolts. The first thing I'm gonna do in here is up underneath the steering column. There is four or five screws and I just gotta get this whole plastic cover off. Get this plastic ring off. One more screw that looks like a eight millimeter. There's the wiring for the horn. Well, this should be pretty easy. The hub bolt, it's a 21 millimeter and I already broke it loose. It's a lock nut so it's kind of stiff till the end. To get this steering wheel off without a puller, I put the nut back on and I just kind of yanked on it side to side and up and down and then straight back at me. And then boom, it finally snaps loose and then you have your nut on there so you don't get hit in the face. It's real obvious how the hub goes. There's the two holes right there up and down. Those line up with the plastic on the top and bottom. And then there's threads too, so make sure you have it perfectly centered. Double check over the edge. Then we can throw our nut back on here. Now pulling the bolts off of the steering wheel so I can mount it to the hub. I'm gonna wire the horn. Super easy. I've officially ran into an issue with this B2200, it wasn't, this hub wasn't designed for it, and it's not deep enough. So if you can see, that bolt sticks out too far. So my horn, center cap, hits it. So I can't put washers on here either. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to figure it out and run it like this for now until I can, you know, have a custom button or something made, I don't know. I gotta run this truck to the tin shop because this, uh, my guy that does it here in Yuma said he can do it right now, so I'm gonna finish this when I get back. A lot has happened. Got the windows tinted. Looks sweet. Alex did a killer job. I'll leave his info in the description in Yuma if you're in Yuma. But I have this issue with the steering wheel. Like I had mentioned earlier, that's just too deep. I'm not gonna be able to get the horn deal on, so it's unfortunate. I'm gonna call NRG and see if they make a deeper one because that would make it work and make the bolt fit with that so i don't know i'll figure it out i'll let you guys know but 
I'm gonna finish putting everything together and see how it looks. Here's the final product. Looking sweet. Stoked on how it came out. I don't know, gonna figure this out. But that's pretty much it. Steering wheel's dope. It's really not as hard as you think. Um, I wanna do this on my speed, but I don't wanna sacrifice losing my controls for my stereo. But uh, yeah, highly recommended if you have an older car. Um, hit up NRG steering wheels. I'll link the stuff below. But uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscribers lately. If you're new here, welcome. And uh, I guess I'll see you next video. Later.